Today, I woke up and decided I wanted to be the artist Paul Cezanne and live in the south of France. So let's get started. Joe McKenzie here. I've got an experiment going on in my studio, which is all about color, and you might want to join me in this. The whole purpose of this is to have more varied paintings. I don't want to paint the same painting a year from now that I'm currently painting. I want to have some variety. So one of the things I thought I would do is look at some other artists that I like and take their colors. So this was the first artist I chose. She's a contemporary artist uses colors I don't often use. And what you'll see here is I just took a portion of her painting and I decided uh, these were the colors that I wanted to choose. And I put the recipes right next to them because they're not colors that I often will use. So I wouldn't go to them naturally. So I have this nearby and then I used uh, the same photograph I'm going to be using this photograph throughout for each one of these experiments. This is a photograph I'm using. Here are her colors. And this is the painting I did from her colors. Way brighter than anything I would normally do. And that red is way redder than anything I would normally do. So I thought, okay, that's kind of exciting. Let's try another one. So the next one I did, I really enjoy the Cape Cod School of Art. They tend to use a lot of pastel kinds of colors, almost like Easter egg kind of colors. And so once again, I picked a picture and took some of the colors and made my little recipe. I need the recipe right next to it because I have to be really disciplined when I come back to the photograph and paint it. So, and here's the painting that I did from that one. You can see they're very, very different. Let's put them up here together. You can see how different they are. I'm not saying one's better than the other, but a very different effect. And that's what I'm kind of enjoying. Because if I had been left to my own devices, I would have, I can, I can paint the same picture three times in a row, <laughs> which is not necessarily a good thing. All right, so today I thought to myself, who do I want to be? I woke up this morning and I thought, who do I want to be? And I thought, I would like to be Paul Cezanne today. So Paul Cezanne is who I shall be. And these, so I picked up painting of his, which I have, of course, in my, disorganization now I can't find but I'll post it I'll post it up above so I took a painting of his took some colors of his wrote down the recipe and then I arranged them in a color wheel just so I would be super organized when it came to this particular exercise so here's the Paul Cezanne one which is right here so this is my third in the series and it helped me understand him a little bit more as an artist. He uses an awful lot of cobalt blue, and he uses a lot of variations on orange and quinacrinone sienna, or burnt sienna. And against that, you can just see that blue resonates so well next to an orange. So it gave me an idea, kind of an idea of what he was going after. Now, of course, uh, he, lived, he was working in south, southern France. <laughs> I'm in Vermont. Uh, these aren't the colors I see in my, you know, if I was to set up the still life in my studio, these are not the colors I would see. But that's not the point. The point was to get some varied results and to start use some, using some different colors and to use some different colors without buying any new tubes of paint. And that's what I really want to get across here. Here, here are the three ones that I've done so far. They're all quite different. I'll get myself out of the way. There. They're all quite different but they don't require buying any new tubes of paint. All they require is a different strategy so that I use my paint differently. So that each one of these things that I did, not new tubes, just new colors that I'm mixing. And I don't know where this is gonna go. I think I'll wake up tomorrow and decide to be a different artist. I don't know who I'll be tomorrow. I'm playing with being Matisse, but I'm not sure I wanna be. I may wanna be Winslow Homer. It all depends tomorrow morning on uh, when I wake up, what I feel like doing. So these are the color exercises I'm doing to try to have some variety in my paintings, and maybe you'll try it too. If you have any questions about it, just write me and I'll write you back. Uh, remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color. Please join my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.